Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 25 DIYs of Christmas. Please hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. I plan to do as many videos as I can before Christmas. Um, I'm running a little behind because I have so many orders you guys and I'm so blessed to still have orders from Black Friday but it has been overwhelming. Therefore, I'm going to combine eight day 8, 9, and 10 into one because we're doing three separate DIYs today but it's going to all be put into one video. So today we're going to be focusing on natural or naturally derived polymorphs. Now some, most of them, all of them are thickening agents but they also have other properties like stabilizing um, emotions and also some of them can be gelling agents. Not all of them can be jelly agents but some of them are. They all have their own different characteristics. Some of them are ionic, some of them are cationic. So there are different uh, polymorphs out there that can be utilized in different ways. So the three polymorphs we're going to be focusing on today is Garcat. I'm also using xanthan gum and I'm also going to be using hydroxyethyl cellulose. Um, yeah, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but yeah, I usually say HEC just to be short and I'll probably do that throughout the rest of this video. So as you can see, Garcat is a very fine powder and I'm using just a tiny bit. I believe all the measurements and ingredients down below in the description box if you'd like to see exactly how much I use. Um, I tried to keep them as close as possible, but like I said, this what this is not really like testing them or comp it is comparing them, but not in a way where I'm trying to control the variables in like an experiment or anything like that. Because they have different characteristics, I will have to treat these differently in order to even get an outcome. Some of them needs to pH adjusted, and some of them needs to be just uh, treated in different ways, okay? So we're not gonna focus on actually uh, worrying about everything being exactly the same. So with the xantho gum and the HEC, I used, I believe, around 2%. Um, and then for the Garcad, you can't go above, I think, 0.3 or 0.4. So I used just under that, okay? So let's jump into hydrating the powders now that we have our powders. This is going to be a very long and detailed video, so I'm going to try to keep these in order. I'm starting off with the HEC, and I'm going to try to keep that pattern going forth. Now, one thing about adding the HEC is that it is able to be dispersed in the water um, without any agitation or adding glycerin or anything like that to help it uh, disperse in the water. You see, as soon as it touches the water, it just disperses evenly. I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's easy to incorporate um, into your water phase or whatever you're trying to thicken. Okay, so that is one beautiful thing about HEC that you probably will not get with the other uh, powders um i haven't seen it happen <laughs> if you have seen it happen please let me know point me to that ingredient because i haven't seen it but this is definitely one that does do that so right off the bat you see that it's starting to kind of gel up a little bit thicken up a little bit but nothing really much is happening so we're going to put this to the side and move on to the xanthan gum with the xanthan gum you definitely need to have some type of agitation now you can add glycerin to help it evenly disperse you guys have seen me create slurries before but it's it's not always necessary okay sometimes I just agitate my water make sure I create like some sort of vertex vortex sorry and then I just kind of sprinkle the xanthan gum in here I accidentally dumped it in don't do that okay just, <laughs> just kind of sprinkle it in so that it can evenly hydrate if not you're gonna get lumps and you do not want lumps in your um, gel okay but it, you can see here look how beautiful this is is gelling up almost immediately. It has such a beautiful high viscosity and, and texture to it that I really, really love. Um, so if you're, it, I guess it just really depends on what you're trying to create, uh, what creation you're trying to make, whether you will reach for a xanthan gum or not. Uh, most people probably wouldn't want this for a shampoo, so you probably wouldn't reach for a xanthan gum for a shampoo, unless you're using a very, very small amount of it, which, there might be other ingredients that will be more effective, okay? So we're gonna sit that to the side and see what happens. This is just the initial viscosity. We're just gonna sit it to the side now and move on to the Garcat. And the Garcat will be treated 
pretty much this in a similar way um, we're just going to agitate the water really well and then just kind of sprinkle it in and let it disperse as much as you possibly can um, Garcat takes a little longer uh, to hydrate and sometimes you need some adjusting with the temperature and also with the pH in order to really get it to hydrate uh, as you will see uh, later on it's gonna really take some time to really get it there okay uh, Garcat is derived from gargum you guys ask me about gargum all the time um, there are different types of gargum and this is the cosmetic grade there are other cosmetic grades out there as well and I will look at those in a later date for you guys and going more into depth so here you just see me add a little bit of citric acid because I'm trying to bring down the uh, pH below 7 because this is where it needs to be in order to get the Garcat to really hydrate um, so I, I really hope that uh, <laughs> kind of makes sense for you guys some ingredients need extra work in order to get them to do what you want them to do and even then it probably won't be exactly what you want okay which leads us right into the initial viscosity of these three ingredients we're going to start off with the HEC because we want to keep it in order as you can see initially there is almost nothing happening here just a little bit of uh, resistance just a tiny bit but mainly really nothing especially compared to the xanthan gum which also used two percent uh you have a lot of viscosity here and it's really gelling up and then with the garcat there's almost nothing but it seems like it's a little bit more than hec in my opinion okay so um fast forward two hours two to three hours later you guys i let this sit and we have some major major changes here if you see this is the hec like i said i'm keeping it in order this is the hec from the left super thick look how beautiful this is and this was just from waiting and allowing um the hec the powder to fully hydrate which is still has not fully hydrated yet this is just um two to three hours in you want to let it sit a little longer and then you're going to get an even more beautiful clear uh gel right now the viscosity is very beautiful it's not stringy uh it doesn't seem to be tacky or anything it's just really beautiful and light and super thick and the viscosity is is everything that I could want. <laughs> it's much more viscous than the um, xanthan gum at this point, um, but in a different way. It's not gummy, it's not snotty, it's not like that flaxseed gel type texture like xanthan gum is. So depending on what type of creation you're trying to make, this could be the perfect one for you, especially if you're using a lesser dose, you could definitely make a great shampoo with this, okay? So moving on to the xanthan gum, um, it's still similar it has the viscosity has um, increased a little bit but for the most part it's still similar to its initial um, viscosity so you know with xanthan gum what you see is what you get <laughs> so using less or more will determine whether your uh, solution is clearer or thicker or not okay so moving on to the guard cat I ended up trying to blend it a little bit more because it just wasn't doing anything for me the viscosity was just nothing and I waited and it just still wasn't nothing. So I end up trying to agitate it a little bit more to get it to hydrate. It just needs time, you guys. It really does need time. Even the natural gargum needs time to really hydrate. So I gave it another hour or two and we got some pretty great results. So we're going to start off with the HEC once again. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Wow. It definitely has cleared up a lot. It's not as cloudy as it was, so you eventually will get a pretty clear gel from this HEC. And I also feel that it's a true clear, like with the Xanthan gum, you got kind of like a tint to it. Um, I don't get that with the HEC at all. All right, now moving on to the Xanthan gum, it has definitely increased in viscosity and it's a little less stringy. So I noticed with the Xanthan gum, it can have that stringy kind of uh, texture to it kind of like a flexi gel or aloe vera gel but um the thicker it is the more it kind of loses that a little bit okay um now xanthan gum can be used with a very low usage rate and you still get a beautiful um thickness to uh your solution see here this is xanthan gum used at a lower usage rate and this could be used for a shampoo this is absolutely beautiful i really love that texture of it as well and if you notice it's very similar to the Garcat and but it's so much clearer look how crystal clear it is you're definitely not going to get that from the Garcat 
Speaking of Garcat, it looks like we're getting something here. You can definitely see it's starting to get a little cloudy and um, and a little stringy a little bit as well. So I don't know. I still feel like it's more so for thickening like an emotion than it is being used alone as a gel, okay? Not that we're doing this to make gels. We're really not doing this to make a gel. We're just testing the viscosity and, and the texture of these different um, thickening agents, okay? Okay, so now I'm just going to store these away. I've already labeled them and I'm going to place them in their own individual um, containers so I can keep up with the different bases and the different thickening agent I used. And and I just want to basically just test it and, and, and see, test it in different ways just to see, you know, what's best to use for what, okay? And I will definitely keep you guys informed. So this is not the final viscosity. I want to just let you guys know. Um, I will come back in a later video and, and review and talk more about uh, the final viscosity and my thoughts about each of these I use them often I love them you see you guys see them on my channel a lot so I just thought it would be a great idea to go a little bit more in depth about them okay so this is the HEC look how beautiful and thick this viscosity is really gorgeous um, I would say mainly for a hair gel or if you wanted to make an emulsion maybe a curling custard or something like that if you're trying to do like a hair product this is a very um viscous uh solution okay now the xanthan gum like i said is a little looser so maybe like a face mask or something like that you could also do like a curling custard with this if you wanted something a little bit lighter like a detangler or a light leave-in uh, conditioner or something like that um, and then as a regular gel as well it's just very beautiful I really do love the texture of xanthan gum you can probably make like a faux flaxseed gel if you add it maybe uh, some hydrolyzed flaxseed extract or something like that so um, very very beautiful I really love uh, using xanthan gum and to me it's the most versatile out of all of them um, you can use it in so many things especially the ease of using it to create emotions and thicken emotions as well um, I think the only thing it's kind of finicky with um, that I use it often with is um, BTMS uh, to me it just seems like they kind of fight each other a little bit so I've had to play around and kind of alter it or use other ingredients to kind of get them to kind of mesh together and they still just kind of don't like each other <laughs> um, but it's definitely possible all right so I'm gonna get a little close-up on the guard cat just so you can see what I see because I know you probably be like oh nothing's happening but something is happening you guys you can see here it's a little bit more viscous than, you know, if you were ha using just regular water. And it can definitely be utilized in different ways in different emotions to thicken them and give them a certain skin feel. So there is no right or wrong way. Um, it's not like, oh, you know, xanthan gum is uh, very thick and beautiful, uh, so it works better. That's not really the case, okay? It really all comes down to what type of product you're trying to make, okay? That determines the ingredient you will use. So let's move on to our stability testing. This is not something that's gonna happen completely in this video. This has different variables and it's gonna take a lot of time. Stability testing can range from testing the preservative over time, um, personal goals, just exactly what you want, your aesthetic, is did it reach that, um, how it works in the physical, how it acts, the skin feel. There's so many different variables when it comes to stability testing. We're only gonna focus on a few and I'm only gonna review a few. Um, right now, because these are thickening agents, I really wanna focus on um, suspension because that determines you know, just how viscous the product is, okay? So I'm using just a little bit of glitter here and I'm going to be uh, placing it in there to see how well they stay suspended over time. Um, you can already tell pretty much by the wooden spoons and the ones that are sinking more. This already gives an indication of which ones will be uh, initially uh, the better suspending agent. So let's look at it this way. All gels are thickening agents, but not all thickening agents are gels because some gels are only meant to... Um, help increase the viscosity even if it's slightly it's still considered thickening but just because you can increase the viscosity doesn't mean it's going to give you that gel consistency or be able to give you uh, a suspension uh, like if you add some glitter or some jojoba bees will it stay suspended in the solution um, so yeah so that's kind of how it works okay just because you have a thickening agent doesn't mean that it's a gelling agent doesn't mean that it's a uh, uh, emotion stabilizer so even though these are all thickening agents they're not all great at suspending uh something they're not all great at 
being a gelling agent you know so they have different characteristics you guys I really recommend you just go and do as much research as you can about your ingredients so you know exactly how to use them okay this is just a quick overview so you can guys can kind of get an understanding of you know what wh where would I use H H EC or Xanthan gum or Garca, where would I use it and which product and why, how much and you know which one works best for whatever, you know. So I will give you guys updates. I'm going to just mix these this glitter in, which is very beautiful by the way. <laughs> and then I will be storing these, closing up closing them up and storing these away. Uh, like I said, I already added my preservative earlier on in the video. Um uh, before I added, even added the powder, I had already added in um, my preservative, which I use Liquid Germal Plus because it is a broad spectrum uh, preservative. And the reason I use that is because this is almost 95% water based and up, and it can easily, easily uh, uh, start to grow really bad nasty things that you don't want it to grow so i really wanted to make sure that these were protected so that over a long period of time i could test them and really study them and give you guys more information about them okay i will let you know you know how well the preservative held up for the these products and i will also let you know how well it held up as far as the suspension go um because honestly with the guard cat i was very surprised initially I thought they were sink to the bottom immediately, <laughs> um, but they actually didn't. You know, they kind of stayed up for a while. Uh, so I'm really, really, really excited about each and every one of these and utilizing them in different ways uh, is, is, is the key, okay? There is no right or wrong way. I just want to emphasize that there is no right or wrong way. There's no better than the other. It's just what do you need? What are you going to use it for? And what is the outcome you're looking for, okay? So, um, and which ingredients work better with other ingredients? Because some ingredients are probably not going to work as well with surfactants. And you probably want to use, like the Garcat, uh, it probably works better in conditioners because it's cationic. It's a cationic um, thickening agent. And what this means is that it's going to give you conditioning properties. It's it, it conditions the hair and gives you these softening, anti-static, uh, more combability and manageability to your hair. So you probably want to use this in like a conditioner. You probably wouldn't want to use it in a shampoo unless you want it like a two-in-one type shampoo, you know. So that's one thing about Garcat that, you, you, you know, you might want to look into, okay. All right, so final, final, final viscosity test. I'm just turning it upside down so you guys can really clearly see um, the uh, viscosity of each and every one of these. Uh, the Garcat is clearly the least viscous. Then that's followed by the Xanthan gum, which has not fully hydrated yet, you guys. It does become a little bit more clearer than this, but it does still kind of keep that tint. If you want it to be crystal clear like the HEC, you probably want to use less Xanthan gum, but then you probably won't get this thick texture, okay? And then HEC, crystal clear, beautiful gel. Those bubbles will go away and it will be crystal clear, you guys. Super smooth beautiful gel so make sure you hit that notification bell it's the only 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 way you can keep up with all the videos i'm coming up with also so that you can see um the results of these um thickening agents also make sure you follow me on instagram and all that good stuff and if you need the full list of ingredients and all extra information all of that's down in the description box below you guys but always feel free to ask me as many questions as you like you can email me or you can leave a comment down below i'll try to do my best to answer i am still working on orders you guys i am a bit busy with that so i'm trying to get and keep up with everything that's going on right now okay so today is eight nine and ten all in one we did hec xanthan gum and garcat okay so I hope this makes up for that and thank you so much please leave requests down below the 25 diys of christmas still going on strong you guys even if i have to upload after christmas we're gonna get them all out okay and i'll see you in the next video bye i got blood on my hands right now